Hi, Wycliffe Barrett, X-Plane Dedicated. Got a lot to tell you about because this weekend, of course, it's RAF Cosford. I'll see you after the trailer. November 180 Bravo Bravo, November 180 Bravo Bravo, good afternoon to you. Report your altitude. Uh, 2,000 feet on 1014 Bravo Bravo. Bravo Bravo, Bravo, Bravo. 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 for 60. So climb not above, initially not above 4,000 feet on the Q&H 1014. 4,000 feet, Bravo Bravo. Correct, what's your request of routing? Uh, let's go amend the range. Oh, ready, RAF Cosford 2015 Flight Sim Show. This is the biggest flight sim show of the year in the United Kingdom. It's up in Telford at RAF Cosford, so uh, we've got the uh, museum, the war museum there, but also we've got the biggest flight sim show in the United Kingdom taking place this weekend. I'm going, I'll be going up on Friday evening, meeting some friends, having some food and having a nice meal, and then Saturday 10am I'll be at the flight sim show. I'm going to be taking this camera, I'm going to be taking the phone camera, we're going to be doing some vlogging, some filming, hoping to have an interview with uh, Marty Arant from Laminar Research, uh, the developers of X-Plane 10, also with Richard Benedict from PC Pilot. I'll be having a chat with the guys from Wired to Fire and they're the ones that made my PC for me. And uh, hopefully we'll bump, bump into a lot of X-Plane dedicated members, so it should be a really good show. Just like to talk about a couple of things regarding X-Plane uh, this week. Not, not an awful lot because we've got the Flight Sim Show coming up. But the one thing that I really do want to talk about, which is available on the xplane.org store, and that is the Carinado 182 Tango. A beautiful aircraft, but what makes it even better is the fact that there is now the Garmin 1000 uh, navigation and flight display equipment in it. There's two huge screens, glass screens in the cockpit, Everything goes on those glass screens. Primary flight display on one, all your engine systems and management on another. You've got uh, moving maps, you've got weather, you've got terrain, everything. This is a beautiful rendition of the real Garmin 1000 that you can get in uh, more modern GA aircraft. On top of all of that, you've got the Carinado treatment of the aircraft. So you've got HDR rendering, you've got uh, 3D HDR lights, you've got 3D sound pack that comes with it. It is a fantastic rendition of an aircraft. A little expensive at $34.95, which works out at £23 and a penny, but if you're into GA flying and you like flying VFR, then this is the aircraft for you. It is absolutely beautiful. I haven't bought it yet, but I'm going to buy it because I think this one is a keeper. Uh, I don't do enough GA flying, but with this one, maybe I will. I recommend you buy it. If you can afford it, get it. Okay. Um, I just want to talk about some of the airports that have been appearing on the X-Plane Gateway, and I'm not at all happy with some of them. Uh, I found that the standard is a little bit below par. I've always believed that when I, when creating airports, that every time you create an airport, you should learn something new and try to add that into the airport. Uh, when I first started, my airports were quite rudimentary. They're getting better. I'm still not at the standard of Chris Kay or Freddie Depew's, um, but I get better. You know, I add auto gates in. We have moving vehicles, etc., etc. Some of the airports that I've seen on the gateway are really quite, in my view, below par. And that is my personal opinion, it is not the opinion of other people, this is just my opinion. But I think they're a little bit below standard. Um, anybody can make an airport and I, have nothing, I haven't got a problem with that at all. The more the merrier. But please, you know, kind of up the game a little bit. Uh, there's one developer out there <coughs> who is getting better and better but still, on, still insists on not putting the stands in the correct place. So sometimes you can load up in an airport and you end up in a field. Um, I'm sure that 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 person will sort that out and that developer will sort that out. So that's just my little bit of a gripe. But on the plus side, of course, there are always pearls uh, amongst the swine, as they say. And one of those pearls is Kilo Sierra Romeo Quebec, which is uh, in Florida, Sarasota Regional Airport. It's absolute, this is a cracking little download, uh, not, not because it's a big airport, it is a regional airport, so it's, it's quite small, but it's the VFR scenery that's been put with it, which is absolutely brilliant, especially if you fly over the marina, get yourself in a helicopter, fly over the marina, have a look at some of the boats, sailing boats and ships that have been put in there, mind the apartment buildings, because there are some tall apartment buildings around there. 
it's a cracky little airport, I suggest you download it. So, I'm sorry it's a short vlog, but uh, lots to do, I'm, I'm travelling tomorrow, I'm going to Gloucester tomorrow, and then at the end of the week I'll be in Cosford. So lots to do. This is a new camera setup and a new sound setup, so let me know what you think of the image quality and the sound quality uh, on this uh, setup. Leave some comments below. I'll see you all soon. You all have a good time, okay? Take care. Cheerio. Number one, zero, bravo, bravo, good afternoon to you. Report your altitude. Uh, 2,000 feet on 1014, bravo, bravo. Bravo, 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 bravo,